in Canterbury Tales, let's turn to line 767 in the, in the prologue, please. 767 in the prologue. This is a description of the host, the only character that we haven't really discussed yet. So let's take a look at it together, line 767. <coughs> is where we're going to start. I'm going to go ahead and do what I usually do and do somewhat of an interpretation and then I'll tell you what you have to do. Our host gave us a great well welcome and a great supper starting. He served the finest food you could think of. The wine was strong and we were glad to drink. He was a very striking man and fit to be a marshal in a hall. He had bright eyes. He was a little wound around the middle. But there was no finer leader in Cheapside. Bold in his speech, yet wise and full of tact. There was no manly attribute he lacked. What's more, he was a merry-hearted man, and our meal had lots of laughs. We talked of sport, and among other things, after we'd settled up our reckoning, he said as follows. Really, guys, you're very welcome, and I can't think when, upon my word, I've seen a gathering here that looks so spry and fun as you guys. And as it happened, I thought, just occurred to me, and it will cost you nothing, on my word, you're off to Canterbury. Well, Godspeed. Bless St. Thomas, answer whatever you need. And I don't doubt, before the journey's done, you mean to while away the time with tales of fun. Indeed, there's little pleasure for you riding along on a horse all day. So let me propose for your entertainment, just as I said, a little enjoyment. And if my notion suits you and you all agree and promise to submit to my rules in playing this game, I say tomorrow as you ride along the way, then by my father's soul, and he is dead, if you don't like it, you can have my head. Hold up your hands and not another word. Well, our consent, of course, we gave him. It seemed not worth a serious debate. We all agreed and bade him to issue the command as he would. My lords, he said to us, now listen, and please don't treat my notion with disdain. This is the point. I'll make it short and plain. Each one of you shall help to make things go by by telling two stories on the way to Canterbury and two stories on the way back. And then the man whose story is the best will win a full meal paid by all here at the tavern when the trip is over. We can come back again from Canterbury and the hope to keep you bright and happy if you'll go along with myself and ride all at my own expense and serve as guide. I'll be the judge and those who won't obey shall pay for what we spend on the way. Now, if you all agree to what I've said, tell me at once and I will make arrangements early for it. Of course we all agreed. In fact, we swore it with delight. And we asked that he should do as he proposed and be the judge of our contest and set the supper at a certain price. We promised to be ruled by his advice and no matter what, we set him as judge over us. More wine was served and the business was done. We drank it off and went everyone to bed. Early the next morning, at the spring of day, up rose our host and woke all of us as well, and off we rode at a slightly faster pace than walking to St. Thomas Watering Place, and there our, horse, our host stopped, eased up his horse and said, okay, now listen, guys, remember what you promised me. If Evensong and Matins will agree, let's see who shall be the first one to tell a tale, and I will be the judge. The rebel who disobeys However much the journey costs, he pays. Now, draw straws, and then we can depart. And the man who draws the shortest straw shall start. Okay, here is your task. Go back to line 767. And if you follow that line down to line 856, which is the very last line I read, so from there to the end, you can tell everything that happened in that section without missing any important facts in a paragraph about this big. Just, there are probably eight to ten more words than needed in this narrative. So you're going to write a paraphrase. Now, I would like you to start it right now if you can get out a piece of paper and... You can get all the facts in. For example, I started mine with the words... 
our, our hand composts are good food and wine. That took up the, la the first really large amount of words. So that is your assignment. It's reiterated on Red Web, but start it now.